Hello everyone. This is one of my first videos regarding my 72 Super Pro Vega and my car trailer that I just pretty much got done for the season so we can we can tow our car around. So I wanted to do a short video about this trailer because it was pretty grungy looking when I got it. This is a 16 foot tandem axle trailer that was an old dirt track trailer and I've uh, put a bunch of time into it and I think I've just about got it ready to go down and get uh, licensed and all that stuff in the state of Washington. We did a little bit of work to it. Everything has been painted. Uh, same guy that painted my Vega did this and then I have added 10 amber lights per side here. These little three-quarter inch ambers and they light up really, really nice. And then I've got three red on the back for clearance and then 10 ambers per side. And then my friend Bryant, Bryant's Custom Rods, he did the fenders and the murals and I gave him creative control on that because I trusted him. Four inch LED lights there that he made custom mounts on. Just a phenomenal job. And then we decided we wanted to go old school with the tires and rims. So I went and I got these baby moons with beauty rings and then Bryant sprayed the rims blue and it turned out pretty good. Um, I, I really like it. So, And then I gave him and his son, his son Cole, who's in fifth grade, did these murals here. And he did a really good job. A lot of just small touches here. Okay, we'll move slowly here, so you can kind of look at this one here. Got another down there. Slowly, got to do my decking. Just, just got my wiring done now. I think I'll put inner fenders on the fenders. He hung the fenders. A little bit better too. They were wasn't the best job. A couple more murals here that he did. One there. Again, custom custom tail light housings that Bryant's custom rods did. I really like this one here. And it lights up pretty well. It tows down the road really good. I bought this in Grants Pass, Oregon, towing my Vega with it. And uh, it towed really, really well. I lost a fender on the way down, or way home, but that's okay. We, we tore them off, and then Bryant redid the fenders, strengthened the frame, and I don't foresee any issues with this for a while now. So it's pretty good. I'm really, really, really pretty pleased with it. So like this, light it up. Yep. Yeah, I think some inner fender wells there would work. Got them lights off of eBay. They're not much at all. Here, come around here to the back with the four reds. Amber on the side, reds on the back. So 
So we built a Vega this winter and uh, just kind of waiting for this uh, situation we're all dealing with to, to pass so we can get ready for the race season. Just about done with it too. I haven't done any videos on it. It's down at a buddy's shop. So this is one of my first videos where I'm actually talking and stuff. Uh, oops. I think it looks pretty good. If I don't say so myself. Okay, and then uh, I, I don't have them with my friend Bryant. Bryant comes to some rods. Got some really nice right here where this bolt head is. I've got some ramps that come down, sit there. Nice aluminum ramps. And we're just about done with it. It sits so low that the car kind of rolls up on its own. It goes pretty, pretty well. So, Okay, everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video here. Show you my trailer for my 1972 Super Pro Vega wagon that we're going to be having a lot of fun with this year. Okay. Appreciate you checking in and viewing my video. We'll take care now.